So when Lisa Marie Presley is saying, yeah. I had no idea that was Austin singing Young Elvis. I thought it was my dad. What happens in your brain in that moment? I just sort of melt. I, I, uh, I can't even, I, I can't, I, it's hard to articulate what that means to me. Yeah. It, it, it was such a responsibility the whole time. And um, I just feel so overjoyed right now. Yeah. Three years of your yeah. life. It's a long time. It's a long time. Does any part of him still linger? Like, every, are you ever going through the drive through and like ordering at that <laughs> voice or finding yourself doing something that is something you gained through playing him? Yeah, I think I think he taught me a lot, you know, and, and uh, it was such a beautiful time in my life. And there's so many things about him that I admire and love. and. Um, and he, he's such a he's such an infectious personality, you know. So there's there's definitely I notice it in my humor at times. I, I feel it in um, in moments where I'm feeling anxious or nervous or where um, you know because I'll, I'll sometimes get anxiety in crowds and that sort of thing. And mm -hmm. and uh, just seeing the way that he dealt with fans, seeing the way that he deals with people, and the sincerity and the the genuine presence that he had yeah. all the time. It's just like through all the noise, being able to just focus in on one person at a time, like, that, that's, that's totally something. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Do you remember the first, the very first scene that you shot and how mm. you felt <laughs> right when action is called? Like, what, where were you? Yeah, well, uh, so we, we, had a, we had sort of a light day, the first, which is me getting my hair cut for the military and that sort of thing. Okay. And then the next day is doing 68 special. <laughs> so it was... It's the heaviest, most nerve-wracking experience. And, because I, 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 you have all those conversations, like Baz and I have worked through things and we've talked and I, I've been working for a year and a half and living this and suddenly now you go, this is the moment of truth where you, you've yeah. gotta get out there and it, all that's for nothing if you can't, if, if it's not alive in front of the camera. And so that was, that was my, that was my big, fearful moment and then and then it hit me in the dressing room that that's exactly what Elvis was feeling yeah. his career was on the line just how mine feels like it's on the line and his life felt like it was on the line just like mine feels like it's on the line and so I rather than pushing that fear away I just kind of took it and I, I realized like this is what he was feeling inside and, and then when I went out there and and I'm with the audience and feeling the music and the genuine emotion on their faces seeing a girl blush and another one smile like it was it transcended what I thought that would be, and it really, um, it was, uh, it was really an out-of-body experience for me. So then the question is, if they weren't acting when they were blushing or smiling, was it acting when certain things were thrown on stage? <laughs> was that planned, or did that actually happen? That just was moment? happening. I don't we'll know where know. that came from. <laughs> there were, it is fascinating too that you had to go from like young Elvis going into the army to suddenly an older Elvis to yeah, take yeah. this. So you had to constantly be switching back between these yeah. parts of his life. What? was the part that you found the most interesting and fulfilling for you to play? Mm. That's, 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 that's a hard question. Um, I, yeah, because we, we did film out of sequence. Mm -hmm. So there were, there were moments where I'm in 56, the next day I'm in 72, and then I'm in 68, and then I'm, you know, it's just kind of all over the place. And, um, and so for me, it, it, was, it was locking into each one of those moments in his life um, so I have love for, for each one of them but I um, you know the, the one that I I really envy anybody who got to be in the audience for is those uh, those moments before he goes to the army and he's at the peak of his animalistic punk rock fiery power yeah. you know that like the, doing trouble that was one of those moments that it was so exciting to do. It was very yeah. exciting to watch too. Well, thank Congratulations you. Thank you on so everything much. that is happening and is going to happen. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Such a pleasure. Take care.